Hi guys, it's five past eleven on a Saturday evening, and uh, derriere wise, I'm feeling better. Not perfect, but it's getting better. Um, I had someone turn up this morning and bought one of my bike wheels from me. Uh, so that's one down out of nine wheels. Eight to go. <laughs> um, completely forgot what I was going to say now. Oh yeah. Fitted lights to the bike in the bedroom. I'll show you that in a minute and what I did. Um, I'm going to answer some. Actually, I'll do that now while I'm talking, to be honest. To be honest, what am I talking about? I'm getting tired, I think. Right. I always want you to text. I don't use a mobile phone, even if I could I wouldn't text. There's a reason I only use Gumtree's or eBay's uh, messaging system. And that's so, if anything goes tits up so to speak, I've got the proof there because it's on Gumtree's system. It's on their message system. It can't be, you know, removed. So, if anyone said anything or threatened or whatever, I've got the proof there. It's for, well, I suppose not just my own protection, but for the potential buyer's protection as well. So, you know, if anything did go tits up, because I'm forgetful anyway, so... Yeah, I don't use a mobile phone, so I can't text anyway. Right, I close that. I've had a friend come round today again. He's been around, I think, almost every night this week. And he's been getting on my wick. <laughs> I just want a bit of peace. That's all. I mean, he don't get on my wick himself. I just would like, you know, a bit of time to myself. And as I've been really sore lately, I've only. All I've wanted is to actually be left alone, mostly, you know. Just till I get better and a bit more mobile. And perhaps get my antidepressants into me again when I get them. Uh, I am fresh out. And... I'm not going to walk that far down to the doctor's surgery in my condition. Because it would fucking hurt. So, I've been going without them. Mind you, if I used my head, I could have phoned in and ordered them. So they would have been ready there to pick up when I was able to get down. I should have done that, shouldn't I? What a dipstick. Because I'd have probably, at the rate it's healing, I'd have probably been okay Monday to go and get them. Never mind. You never think of better ideas until afterwards, do you? Anyway, yeah, my friend came up twice today because he's trying to... We built him a computer yesterday. Well, actually, it took us two evenings because it just all went pear-shaped Thursday evening. Nothing went to plan. It just didn't want to play ball. It turned out it was just a knackered hard drive causing the system to blue screen during the install. And the only reason I know that is because I tried another motherboard and it did exactly the same thing. So it just put it down to the... Uh, you know, narrowed it down straight to the uh, hard drive. Um, unfortunately, I could only go as far as Windows XP because I haven't got motherboard. Well, actually, I got one motherboard that would have installed Windows Seven, but that didn't want to play ball. So, unfortunately, it had to be <laughs> uh, Windows XP. But he's now trying to sort of upgrade that to Ubuntu software so uh, you know more modern programs etc will work on it which is uh, actually a good way to do it because Ubuntu and Linux and whatnot is all free open source 
um, software, so why not? Um, but he did put me in the mood to play around with the computer, so I got all my motherboards down yesterday. And I went through them to try them to see what other options we'd have for his computer. Only one of them worked. But get this. I retested them today when I was at home on my own. And the damn things worked. <laughs> Go figure. Well, by work, I mean, they managed, you know, I powered them up and they booted to the um, post screen. Obviously I had no keyboard or mouse or anything connected. It was just the VGA cable, the two power cables and a switch to turn it on and off. And yeah, they all booted up to the uh, post screen. But they wouldn't even do that yesterday. So, uh, well actually I've got one down here that is totally dead. Nothing happened at all. Not even a Fart from the fan. But, I've also been playing with this evening with a computer I was given with that big printer I've got in the kitchen. Uh, that must have been back in September. Yeah, it had to have been August, September I was given that. You know, it's just been sitting on the worktop in the kitchen ever since. So I thought I'll drag that through here, power it up, which I did, you know. But I didn't realise, until I took the side cover off to get the motherboard model to research it, <laughs> that it was actually running a 1.6 GHz Intel dual-core processor. And a gigabyte of DDR2 memory. So, I did a bit of research and it appears I can upgrade the memory to 4 GB DDR2, which I'm going to do. It's also got an 80 gigabyte SATA hard drive in it, the um, CD driver's IDE, which doesn't bother me. Uh, and uh, I did have a look through my processors and found that I had a, well, it's actually written on it as a 2.93 gigahertz, but if you round it off we can call it a 3 gigahertz dual-core processor, so I've stuck that in there. So it's gone from 1.6 dual-core to a 3, well, near enough a 3 gigahertz dual-core. That's one hell of an upgrade. Um, my main computer under here that I, you know, the one I use is um, a quad-core at 3 gigahertz, but it's an AMD. And uh, I actually think, I didn't used to, I used to prefer AMD over Intel, but over the last few years I'm swinging more towards Intel for some reason. But, uh, yeah, so I've got quite a half decent machine there for free. If I just spend, I don't know, I think a set of 4GB DDR2 memory is probably going to cost me something like 20 quid. Maybe not even that now on eBay. So I could upgrade that. It's got a PCIe slot for a graphics card. I could find one to stick in there as well. Um, and I suppose I could throw in a um, an install of Windows 10 or something, or even Windows 7. I can find my Windows 7 discs. So there's a lot of potential for some upgrading with that machine. It wouldn't be a kick-ass machine, it'd be, or I could just leave it as it is and just have a totally kick-ass Windows XP machine with overkill specs. <laughs> Three gigahertz dual core and four gigabytes DDR2 memory would really be overkill for that. It'd be one hell of an XP gaming rig though, wouldn't it? Right. Yeah, I've actually got you on the tripod if you're wondering how I'm doing this. Because I think that's a better way instead of holding the camera. Because I can just sit here comfortably and just 
look in your general direction. It's a bit like using a GoPro because I haven't got a screen to look at. So I'm assuming my face is somewhat in the frame. Uh, I actually noticed my subscribers on my Lego channel has shot up. Oh, it shot up again. It was 231 this afternoon. It's now 232. Still 118 on this channel. I'd like to get the, the scrubs. Get the scrubs up. Get the subs up on this one a little bit. Yep. Ah. Quick Bricks commented, Hey Brick Nut, nice review. I just bought this set and did a similar review on my channel. Like your channel a lot, I just subscribed. I like your style on the reviews. Well, you know what? Pause that. Ow! Uh, it never pauses when you want it to. There we go. I'm going to subscribe to him. He's only got three videos, but he actually looks like a fairly new channel. I'm just going to click on the little bell so I get all these notifications when he up um, uploads. Upgrades. I'm going to... How did he get 50 views on that? How many subscribers has he got? Really? 12? That can't be right. 50 views, 12. <laughs> I think he's got 12 subscribers. What's up in this corner? I think that's what the 12 is. Hmm. I'm going to leave that up there because I'll watch a couple of his... Well, I might as well watch all three of his videos, actually. Anything going on on Facebook? Duck Diddly All is going on on Facebook. The dirtiest place on an airplane is not the bathroom. No, it's probably the seat that you sat on. Oh yeah. Someone on one of the local town groups uh, mentioned about how expensive petrol, or gas, for Americans, is in this town. And uh, it is actually, our Sainsbury's filling station is actually one of the most expensive in this area. You know, if you go like, I think it's about eight miles down the road, it's actually about four pence cheaper. Four bloody pence cheaper. Um, but someone in the comments blamed it on Brexit but uh, I actually think that's a load of cobblers it's a load of old codswallop blaming everything on Brexit you know all these price hikes and that is just it's something that those that wanted to stay in the EU to me has made up to try and make the Brexit look like a bad idea and the fact that, with this fuel increase lately, because it's increased everywhere, um, this has actually happened in the past more than once, to the point that actually someone commented on a status I put up about it, um, remembering the blockades at the refineries in 2000, um, when people protested about the price hike in fuel. So that is what? 15 years before Brexit was even thought of. That we were getting ridiculous price hikes in fuel. So it's not the Brexit. You can't blame it on the Brexit because it's been happening way before the Brexit was even thought of. so has a lot of price hikes. 
know there's a lot of not I know there's a few companies that have increased prices on their products um, Cannondale bicycles have over here but they are adamant it's not due to Brexit but uh, I suppose sometimes a company just feels like putting its prices up which they are entitled to do <laughs> unfortunately you know there is no law on how much they can charge for something so uh, but I just think it's ridiculous that people blame it on Brexit. It's not Brexit at all. Prices would go up on things regardless of whether we were in the EU or not. I'm actually liking this setup with the camera. The only other disadvantage is I can't see the timer. <laughs> Because obviously it's on the screen, which I can't see. So I couldn't connect this to like a, a computer monitor or something. So I could um, actually see what I'm doing. I wonder if I could do that. This has got an HDMI socket on it. The only problem is I don't have a PC with an HDMI. A PC. A PC monitor with an HDMI um, input. I've got a TV though. But the TV is over there, so that's not a lot of good. <laughs> uh, let me just flick you around so I'll just check. Alright, I've got 12 minutes left, and I think I've covered most things. Um, I can't be bothered to get up now. On the count of it hurts still. <laughs> I'm still sitting on the pillow. Um, as well. Show you the bike probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to go at Mum's tomorrow or not. Because uh, <laughs> I don't fancy being bounced around in a car. But at the same time, I'm getting bored sitting here as well. So, I don't know. Don't know if Mum's gonna find me tonight. More than likely, I think. <sighs> right. I'm gonna shut down then. Give it another half an hour or so for Mum to ring, and if she hasn't, then I'm gonna bug her off to bed. I think. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you want to. And uh, at some point tomorrow. I'll show you what I did with that um, bike. Because I fit dynamo lights to that. And uh, Mum has always said he used to have to pedal like hell to get them to light up brightly. Not if you wire them correctly and make sure you've got a good ground on them. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.